Well, it's June 20th. Me and the Scarlet Rebel are out for a ride. First time we've been out riding in uh, several months now. About 96 degrees, too. It's pretty hot. attempt to go over here to the Watkins Trail and the uh, sawdust path. We don't really know how open uh, the trails are because we haven't been on them in so long. A lot of the trails over like near the gas line and stuff are grown up really bad this time of year. I know just from past experience so um, we'll just have to see about this. You know, It's a kind of a gamble at this point. Whether we'll be, uh, the problem is that they grow up so thick with brush and grass, and uh, you know, it, you just get full of ticks, you know, all over the four wheeler and new boat. That's just, you know, more aggravation than it is fun to ride in. But uh, we'll see. Usually, these, because they're in the shade, they stay a little less grown up. The sun doesn't get to them as much, so maybe they'll. They'll be rideable. We'll, we'll see. But yeah, we're over here. Uh, just came by the Watkins Pond. There were some people fishing. And like a good day for that. The pond was nice and full. So far, so good with the growth. There's a little bit of grass coming up on here, but it's like we got it. We'll let Miss Scarlet get up ahead of me here so we can get some of her on video. There you go. But yeah, we wanted to uh, say to everybody, you know, uh, Appreciate you hanging in there with us, you know, uh, during some of the downtime we've had, you know, we've been, had a lot going on, you know, uh, outside of uh, YouTube, you know, and it's just kept us busy to where we haven't been able to get out and ride like we wanted to. We've been doing some traveling, that was a big part of that. But uh, anyway, uh, Scarlett's been doing a lot of uh, updating on the uh, Facebook page, Palomino488 Facebook. She kind of revived that for me because uh, I had gotten where I couldn't, didn't have the time to uh, balance both YouTube and that too by myself. So, but uh, yeah, make sure. Uh, you go visit our Facebook page. We're on uh, like and uh, comment on there, please. And uh, we're going to be doing a lot more frequent updates on there than in the past. Um, so that's going to be a good thing. And uh, like I said, we really do appreciate all the new subscribers that are coming on to the channel. Um, and, you know, all of the past uh, subscribers that we've had uh, that have stuck with us, uh, we really do appreciate it. You, uh, you can first, yeah, it really doesn't matter. Now, that, that one right there has grown up a little bit at the beginning, but usually after you get past that, it's not so bad. We'll, we'll check it out on our way back through. really are liking these Cinnas SMH-10s that we got. Uh, how, how long have we had? We had them about six months now. Maybe six months, if, if even that. Uh, we haven't used them that much, though, because we just haven't been riding that much since we did get them. But the past times that we have been riding with them, we, we really do like it because, you know, it's... Uh, so nice, you know, you've been able to, to talk back and forth and let somebody know if they need to make a turn or whatever.
whatever, you know, and, and uh, you don't have to try and yell over the engine noise and stuff. Yeah, yeah, this has grown up a lot. This is a section off the Watkins Trail where they uh, they logged out. Like I said, uh, last time we were over here, you you could see right straight through it, but it really has grown since we were over here. What was it, back in March we were over here last, or was it February? Yeah, so it, it's been a right good little while. A little muddy section right here. We had a, a lot of rain and a thunderstorm come through the, the past two nights. Well, not last, I don't think last night, but well, maybe it was last night. I, I can't remember. Anyway, uh, yeah, left. Anyway, though, it dumped a lot of rain really fast. Uh, the problem is, is lately we haven't had enough rain, so. I don't know if we're just going to turn around here, sweetie. I don't know. Does that look pretty grown up? Might be tick country up there. It, it, you know, we can't go that way anymore anyway, remember. So, remember uh, the last time. So, so it's like, uh, what is this weed out here growing? Yeah, it's weed field out here. It's all dry. Won't be too much longer. I guess that'll be ready to harvest. Hey there. <laughs> but uh, anyway, like I was saying about the rain, it, uh, we had not been getting a lot and it had gotten really dry and it still is really dry, but the past two nights we've gotten kind of a torrential rain from a thunderstorm or two. So it, it's kind of filled up some of the mud puddles and that's about it. But I reckon it's cut the dust down a little bit from what it would have been, but be thankful for that. But. We've had several days this week that have been 101 degrees with humidity. <laughs> Not forget that. That's the worst of it all. And today's 96, and I think tomorrow is 96 or again, and then Monday is back uh, 100, and then Tuesday's 101. So uh, it's, it's hot. <laughs> Not, not too bad if you're moving, but if you're standing still doing something, you just bust out and sweat. You sweat like a pig. It ain't no joke. That humidity is what gets you. And I'm just glad we were able to get back out and ride again. We've been, we've been really uh, wanting to go ride for a long while now. It's just been too long. <laughs> Anyway, we're back at it. Here on the sawdust path, and looking like so far so good. A little grassy, and you know, some of these places where the sun shines through, but all in all, not bad. Cool over here. Say what now? Yeah, that is nice. That's one thing, in the summertime, these are about the best trails to ride because they're pretty much all in the shade and, you know, they're in the deep woods, so it's a lot cooler than being out in an open field somewhere. Yeah, as long as you're doing about 10, we're doing about 11 miles an hour or so. Get a good little breeze blowing across you. I wanted to say too, I got a, uh, I got a new helmet. Uh, I think it was back in January or February. I got it, and I haven't been able to wear it on a ride yet, or I haven't worn it on a ride. I should say, not that I can't, but I don't have my GoPro mount finished yet. I've been working on that. Uh, I, here the past couple of weeks just started working on that and um, it's a full face helmet it's by Fulmer uh, I ordered a scorpion helmet like Scarlet has got but it the sizes of their helmets just they didn't uh, 
they didn't coincide with the size that fits that I typically wear in a helmet and every size I tried that they had available was just not it wasn't comfortable to me so I ended up returning that helmet even though I really liked it, uh, the design of it and uh, so I was at my uh, Honda dealer uh, shortly after that and I saw that you know some of the Fulmer helmets that they had on the shelf there and I have always worn Fulmer helmets. I, the, the one I'm wearing now is my second one that I've had since I've been riding four-wheelers and uh, really like this one, but uh, I don't know. How's this looking, baby? Is it passable? <laughs> I don't know. Do you just want to turn around? I mean, because you loop around, we get to that field and turn around anyway, so... None of this was ever like this before they logged out. But don't get too far away from me. You know, this is like turning a semi truck around right here. I can't turn on a dime like you with that recon. <laughs> the 4x4s don't have the tightest turn radius as a two wheel drive. So, all right, I, it, went, it, it went better than I thought. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> but, um,. So anyway, get back to the helmet thing though. I, so I ended up finding a Fulmer helmet. It was a full face helmet uh, with flip up visor. Uh, had a lot of you know air vents in it and all. And um, you got a stick. Doesn't surprise me. And uh, so anyway, it's red and uh, red and black graphics on it. And uh, watch out, you got poison semi right behind your foot there. Go to this side, it'll be better. Or where's it at? Okay, yeah. And uh, so yeah, it, uh, it's a nice helmet, and I hopefully coming up I'll be able to debut it. But like I said, I'm working on the GoPro mount, and uh, got to get that actually mounted to the helmet. And that that's been the trick, you know. It's a little bit different than the helmet I'm wearing now because it's a full face. You don't have a, a open mouthpiece to mount to like I did this one, so I'm actually having to do a little, a bit more fabrication to do a chin mount on that helmet than I, I did when I made this one. So, uh, but uh, and then I'll have to transfer the Senna intercom speakers and module over to that helmet as well, which won't be too bad once I sit down and actually do it. But. But yeah, that's some up, up and coming stuff, a new helmet. And we also are uh, trying out, uh, we're demoing a new editing software uh, for the uh, for our videos. And uh, it's a possibility that this video here will be uh, edited with that software. It's by Adobe, isn't that sweetie? It's Adobe uh, Premiere Elements is the... Uh, video editing software that we're trying out. I think it's a trial period. If we like it, we can buy it after that, but it's right now it's free. And from what we've played around with uh, with it so far, we already uh, are liking the, you know, the added options that it, that it gives you. Uh, we have been using the YouTube video editor uh, for all the past videos and slideshows, so um, We'll see, you know, and uh, hopefully it's going to be a better uh, fit and, and give us a little more flexibility, you know, and make the videos a little more um, more entertaining and, uh, you know, uh, just, just better all around, hopefully. So we'll see. So stay tuned for that.
yeah we're still over here cruising on the uh, sawdust path another thing i had forgot to mention earlier something new that we're uh, working on in the process to be look uh looking on facebook for an upcoming uh, uh yeah an uh, announcement yeah and possibly we may even do a uh a demo video on youtube uh we're, we're looking into printing up having the uh palomino 488 t-shirts printed up uh, we've had uh, several requests uh, for them in the past and uh, uh, Scarlett has been you know doing some research on that and, uh, we're getting close to you know having uh, having that done so just be on the lookout for that and it uh, it'll be so that you guys uh, who want to uh, order t-shirts will be able to and you know at that time we'll post links and everything and give all the necessary information uh, so that you guys out there, the fans, uh, can, can order the shirts and the sizes and all that they want. So just, uh, like I said, be looking for that coming up too. Sorry it's taken so long. I know several people had asked about it uh, several months ago. Uh, and, you know, I, at the time, didn't, didn't know what I was going to do. I didn't have the means of... Uh, you know, determining the right company to go with that would print them up, you know, at, at the right price and everything. So, just appreciate again, you know, people being patient about that. And they just know that it is a, a, an option that will be coming up for you to get t shirts uh, for our channel. So, frogs hopping in the mud puddle there. <laughs> Hopping all over the place. This one too. Yeah, we just been cruising a little bit back and forth over here. It's nice and cool in the shade over here. And nice path uh, to ride on. So. on going you said over the spillway today. You can see where it's wet there from the other days, but it's already dried up.
here on this old farm road here. very fast on this road speed limit's only about 10 to 15 miles an hour so try to not kick up too much dust and stuff to aggravate the landowners around here but cruising about 10 right now never shown you all this before but you know that's my named after me right there the whole road <laughs> coming across the swamp here pretty full actually you see a car coming around that corner or anything can't see for all these bushes here Deeper than it looks on camera. You gotta get into the gas a little bit so you don't lose your momentum. This uh, stuff on this road here is ground up asphalt, so it's like powder. And so you riding through it is kind of like riding in sand. So you kind of sink down in it, and you kind of gotta give your ATV more oil or you know more gas to go through it maintain speed just for that reason. Hey there. That's a good looking rider right there. Uh-oh, pothole. <laughs> yeah, I better go back to single file. So we're back up at the farm now. <laughs> yeah. Sure, yeah. Maybe hopefully we can find some shade down there. Uh, they're waiting at my truck. Yeah, maybe. Quacka! Quacka, quacka, quacka! <laughs> oh my. Oh no, oh no, that's not ducks. That was what? Crows? Yeah. Alright. Quacka feeding time. See what we can do for y'all. Mm, my legs got stiff. Yeah, muddy water in there. Alright, let's see what we can do for y'all here. Alright, there you go. Yeah, chow time. Got me a leaf hopper riding on my box. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go down here to the duck pond, maybe find a possibly find a shade spot and eat our sandwiches, stuff we brought, take a break, drink some water. This is weed out here by the way too, they will be harvesting uh, for too long, I expect. I don't know much about weed, so uh, don't quote me on that, but it looks pretty dry to me. <laughs> right there on that little knoll there, maybe, or right here in the grass, what you think? Oh, somebody's got a tiki torch down here. Oh, somebody had a little campfire and everything. Hmm. Yeah, we're taking a ride on this path that leads off the back side of the farm. <clears throat> ride to see how these uh, paths around these tobacco fields look. They're open, you know, we'll do some riding around them. Too bad. 
more weed. Try going this way and see how it is. thing Let's watch these, this bad rut down through the middle here look been washing out with the heavy rains. here or soft I should say. Oh this this is washed out a lot worse. How bad those rocks are sticking up now. I'll ride to the top of this hill and see this wash out. That thing's really routed out more. <laughs> Man, look at that. I thought it was bad last summer. Uh, or it wasn't this bad last time I was over here riding, but you know, a couple of months ago, it was, you had to let your shield down. Oh, it's a lot of dust, huh? I've been known to do that some. <laughs> Oh yeah. I tell you, I'm actually quite surprised that so far that uh, these paths are not grown up more with grass than, than they are because I know these guys, because there's not tobacco planted back here this summer, they're not coming back here as often. So yeah, that does. Uh, water hole there the levels low and in you remember when we rode the last time back here how full it was it was covering all the way up there on that bank this right here is a little low too just haven't been having that much rain you know consistently anyway yeah that is you're right you want to keep going or what See how it is up here. It's a little rougher over here, sweeties. Watch out. out there. So I'll take a ride down here and look at the creek bed. Yes. Looks pretty dry. It's a little flow in it, but very little. Very little. You can back up. Like right, so 
somebody that drove through there with a pickup truck. Probably a turkey on it. Wild, you know, wild, you know, wild turkey, I bet you. that I don't know what it would be. Yeah or pterodactyl. <laughs> Love you. You just want to go back this way? too fast other than me somebody don't get upset about it 15 miles an hour ought to be good you come even with me I, I got the speed on we're going about 14 right now a lot of potholes anyway I wouldn't want to get too going too fast on this road <laughs> are working. Yeah, that's cool. Watch out for that log over there. This has grown in a lot on this side because I was through here last time. Looks like somebody's actually graded this road a little bit. Like a bulldozer or something. coming down that bank, sweetie. You got it. It's blinking. Hey, why is it red? 
Can you hear me? There it goes. All right. So yeah, we're on our way back. Uh, checked the weather on the phone and said there's a, a severe thunderstorm warning for this area. We hear thunder off in the distance. Back over that way, it's kind of looking a little dark. Darker back over that way over the trees, but we're pretty close to the farm, so we've ridden ridden pretty much everywhere. You know that the trails are nice and open, uh, so rode about almost 13 miles. We're gonna head back up to the barn and. Be near, you know, shelter in case it does come to storm. It was a fun day for a ride. Good to get back out again after being out of it for so long. And like I said, uh, again, you know, check out the Facebook page, like, uh, and comment uh, the post on there, and. Uh, like I said, it's going to be a lot more frequent updates on there now than it was in the past, so just stay tuned to that, and uh, stay tuned for an a announcement about the uh, t-shirts, and uh, also, you know, other new things to come uh, on the channel as well, so y'all uh, stay tuned, and uh, thanks for watching, hope you enjoy the video. Ah. Uh. <laughs>